you know, walking off there at the end when, you know, the the whole of Headingley was, you know, standing up and and celebrating. It was a it was a very special moment and and something I had to try and take in. I think because <clears throat> moments like that don't come along very often, and um, you know, it was just an amazing game to be a part of. To to be there at the end and and still keep our Ashes hopes alive um, it was a pretty special feeling coming off at the end. Yeah, um, I think in terms of where we were at in terms of this Ashes series, I'm obviously over the moon that you know we've managed to stay in the, in the series. Um, you know, if we knew if we lost this game, then the Ashes were gone. So to be sat here, especially after getting bowled out for 67 to to still be in with a chance of getting the urn back is, is an amazing feeling and walking off there at the end was you know just a, a time to take everything in and, and realise what we had just done as a team not just as an individual um, I think bouncing back from getting bowled out for 67 to then having to chase down 300 and <clears throat> I can't remember what it was whatever it was um, you know it was brilliant you know but at the same time we's off, we've got a few days off here before the next test starts so you know, when we turn it to Manchester, we've got to put everything behind us, what we've just managed to achieve, and start again in Manchester. Um, you know, because this, be, this will all be forgotten if, if we don't, if we lose the next Test match, because then the Ashes are gone. When a number eleven comes in, you know, needing seventy to win it, you know, I knew where the game. Well, I knew what I had to do in terms of the game situation and what I had to do. Um, the only time I really started getting a little bit nervous or, or panicking, would say, is when we got into single figures. Um, but those will be the most important balls that Jack Leach has ever faced, well, will ever face in his test career, the best one he's ever got in his career. Um, and, you know, it takes, it takes two to tango in the situations like that. And for a number 11 to come out under that kind of pressure and to deliver when he needed to deliver um, was fantastic for him to be able to do that. And a lot of credit has to go to him as well for, for us being able to, to cross the line there at the end.